Vroom vroom. Welcome back to Cool Rides in New England. Today we are going to be looking at a, another video from Autax Mazda Car Show. This is number three out of four. So sit back and enjoy the video. We've got a bunch of really cool cars to uh, look at this through this one as well. As always, please subscribe to the channel. Um, also share with your friends and neighbors and other car enthusiasts. I'm gonna start this video out with a Shelby GT500. This is, of course, one of the new Shelby GT500s, not a, a classic 60s. Still a beautiful supercharged V8 underneath the uh, engine there. And a gorgeous white on uh, with blue stripes. Now we're looking at a C10 Chevy Custom to Deluxe. This is mid 80s is my best guess. I don't uh, have the exact date on the, on this one. But a really nice uh, solid looking C10. Now we're looking at a really cool Ford Street Rod Rat Rod. Apparently owned by the Chicken Man. Look at all those uh, Vermont plates that he's used to, uh, to line it all. It's very cool. Very interesting, cool little rat rod. Uh, now we're looking at a 48 Ford Coupe. Love how they uh, integrated the uh, turn signals in the back there. Pinstriping is way cool. Great interior on this car. A lot of really great touches on that street rod. And this is a Chevy that we had looked at before at the rave show. And now we're on to a 40, uh, 56 Ford F100 pickup. Looks like a really nice driver. Toyota Tacoma, I'm, I call it a trophy, trophy truck, but I'm sure you know, it's just like a, an off-road racing truck. I don't, uh, trophy trucks I believe are a lot bigger than, than this, but way cool. I um, you know, love the fiberglass fenders, the uh, suspension on it was really cool. Uh, nice dirt devil as the license plate says. And we have a Chevy K10 Silverado. K10, uh, K signi uh, signified four-wheel drive, C's were two-wheel drive, and the Silverados were the top of the, the model range for the um, C and K line, so uh, and all the little features and stuff that you could want in your, uh, your pickup. It's a really nice K10. We're looking at a 68 Malibu Chevelle. Seven set on the side. And now we're looking at a uh, old Cutlass, I believe this is a 72. If anybody knows differently, uh, please correct me. Great overall uh, condition inside and out. Love these cars, and I would assume from the license plate, it's got a 455 uh, rocket in it. And this is another 72 Olds Cutlass. Love the bench seat. And this one, I'm for sure, is a 72, just because oh, the license plate tells me. <clears throat> Now we're on to a 39 Chevy Coupe. Love the uh, etching on the, all the windows with the, uh, the flowers. Um, very nice touch, something I haven't seen on any other car. Very nice. Uh, now uh, we're looking at, uh, I believe this is an 87 um, Regal, Buick Regal 
type T or turbo T. Um, this um, is just very similar to the uh, Grand National, but um, those little tweaks here and there to uh, you know differentiate the two. Um, I do know that uh, Grand Nationals were pretty much only black. Uh, and this car we're looking at is a uh, 36, uh, sorry, 63 Ford Falcon Fiatura. Uh, this car was in the Frasier Insurance Car Show video, so um, whatever you don't see here, take a look at, uh, at those videos and it will be there as well. Now we're looking at another Ford Street Rod. This car is very well done. Love the uh, engine, the side pipes. Uh, R&D Hot Rod Shop definitely did a good job with their uh, their vehicle here. Pinstriping is mad. Overall, great looking street rod. 68 Pontiac GTO. Coloring inside and out. And nice V8 power under the hood. This is 75 C10 Chevy pickup, 454 big block sitting right there. This is another Silverado. Gorgeous. Thanks. How long have you had it? Nine years. <clears throat> Get it like this or no. a lot of work? It was a long bed. Oh. Uh, two wheel drive, obviously, but side up higher. It was yep. a small block Chevy and automatic. So. It's a 5.3 under there or is yep. it? Cool. 5.3, five, 5 speed. Nice, nice. Yeah. Nice look, yeah, beautiful looking truck. You did yeah. a really good job on it. And here we are looking at a 53 Kaiser Henry J Gasser. A Gasser is a type of uh, a style of drag car. It's all in the, the stance of the car. So generally the front end will sit up pretty high and will be on little cookie cutter type uh, tires. And then you got big uh, beefy stuff underneath in the back. And this is a 95 Bosch Genato. Um, this is also from the Fraser Car Show series, so take a look at those for more on this boss. Looking at a, another C10 Custom. This is a 64. As I say with every truck I see with a wood bed, I love how they did that. Nice clean interior. Fantastic looking truck. And there's a Triumph TR4. And uh, now we're on to a 64 Ford Falcon convertible. Nice little car, but <clears throat> between the Mustang in that. Most people chose the Mustangs. Uh, now we're looking at a 30 Ford Model A Coupe. Very well either taken care of or restored. Modern Challenger 392. the 
the color combo, the blue and white stripes. And yes, it's got a Hemi. 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. Ford Street Rod and it is beautifully chopped great looking interior just a, an amazingly well done 34 Ford and the final is a 1913 Ford Model T and this T um, as you can see from the, the back there um, it's brought up to make it look like a Jack Daniels delivery truck. I don't know if they ever delivered Jack Daniels like this, but the workmanship into that uh, Model T is just amazing. Thank you for watching this third video of the Austex Mazda Car Show. Really appreciate you taking out the time to do that. Uh, as always, we would appreciate a uh, subscribe, please like this video, and share it with all of your friends, car enthusiasts, anybody you can think of to, uh, to help me get it out there. Also, we are on all sorts of social media, so we're on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, we have a blog, uh, Pinterest, I think there's a few other things that I keep forgetting, but uh, all that information is either going to be sitting right up here, or I'll be down in the description below so please follow along and uh, help me get as many views as I can have a great day and we'll see you on the flip side